Good morning, students. Today I'm going to teach you Unit Five, which is hologram and medical applications. Okay, so uh, Unit Five is actually split into two. Uh, one is uh, hospital hologram, and second part is medical application. So in the second part, we'll be uh, seeing about various applications of laser in the field of medical. Okay, so first part is hologram. So the first topic is holography. Okay, so holography is a process of uh, image construction by some recording methodology, and again it includes reconstruction of hologram. So here holography uh, uh, it includes hologram construction and reconstruction of hologram. So this is based upon interference technique. Okay, so various interference techniques are followed. So based upon interference techniques, so the the image are construction constructed and reconstructed. Okay, now uh, it is other uh, so the only difference between uh, holography and photography is. Uh, in photography, we use lenses. As we all know, in photography, uh, once the uh, button is clicked, the, the by using the lenses only the images are captured. Okay, but in holography, there is no lens because of this property. It is also called as uh, uh, lensless photography. Okay, it is also called holography is also called as lensless photography. Okay, and it is invented. It was invented in the year 1948 by uh, Dennis Gaber, and the word holography it is derived from the Greek word. Okay, it is uh, derived from the Greek words holos, holos, and graphy. Okay, so holos means whole. The meaning is whole, and graphy means drawing. Okay, the next topic is. Holography and photography. So here I'm going to teach you the difference between uh, photography, uh, holography, and photography. Okay. So in holography, range of directions are used. That means uh, 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 an object is there, the laser light is illuminated. So in holography, the laser light is uh, uh, illuminated. Uh, towards the object okay so and uh, at once it is illuminated the object captures the light laser light and it will be scattered in all the directions okay so uh, the hologram will record all the direction uh, beam okay so all the scattered beams are recorded in this holography so because of that it uses a range of directions Okay, but in a photography, we'll be using only one direction that we already knew. Once the photograph is taken, uh, uh, the the light uh, the light uh, will be directly uh, falls under uh, the lens. Okay, so because of that, only one direction uh, light is captured. Okay, so that is the first difference. Second is, as we all know, holography uses laser light. Okay, but normal photography uses normal light that we know. Uh, it uh, sometimes it uses the sunlight or it uses the electric lighting. Okay, that is uh, uh, illuminated from the uh, photograph uh, camera itself. Okay, so normal light is enough for taking photography, but laser light is required for taking holography. Okay, next is no lens. Again, we know the difference between uh, photography and uh, holography is the lens. Here, uh, photography uses lens, uh, holography uses, it doesn't use lens. Okay. Next is second beam, otherwise called as reference beam is uh, required for holography. But photography, we don't use anything like that. Okay. And holography is a three-dimensional uh, information can be obtained in holography. Three-dimensional information can be obtained, but in photography, uh, two-dimensional information are obtained. Okay, that we know, but uh, the three-dimensional effect can be obtained. That is called as a rudimentary three-dimensional effect. That means some image of three-dimension is obtained, but actual three-dimension cannot be obtained using 
photography. So two dimensional images can be obtained using photography. Okay. And next is random pattern that we are. Uh, so in some examples of hologram, so we can say uh, the hologram, uh, you can see in uh, some books that uh, uh, a shining part, a sticker will be there. So that is actually one of the examples of hologram. So in that you can see some uh, fine granules that will be shining when you, uh, when you change the viewing angle. So that is the random pattern. If you see that, a random pattern will be seen. Okay, that means the image is actually not clear. Some random uh, and fine granules will be seen. Okay, but in photography you can see a clear picture. Okay, and next is, next important technical thing difference is, in holography, amplitude and phase information are recorded. But in photography, uh, only amplitude information are recorded. Okay.